Xbox Series X specs. Xbox Series X specs. Wow, it's a mouthful. Xbox Series X specs. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Got it, let's go. This is not a drill, people. Microsoft just dropped its official spec sheet for its newest console, the Xbox Series X. And yes, I got it right. In a blog post, Xbox daddy Phil Spencer posted a what you can expect right up with all kinds of delicious details on the Series X, so let's hit it. A powerful custom processor serving four times the processing power of the Xbox One and twice the power of the Xbox One X. 12 teraflops of GPU performance. Variable rate shading to prioritize specific parts of a scene. Hardware accelerated ray tracing. Hello PC level particle effects. SSD storage for fast loading. Dynamic latency input so your movements and actions are super precise when you're using a controller. HDMI 2.1. Support for 120 frames per second, so all your battle royales are crisper than a freshly picked apple in the fall. Oh, so good. That's all well and great, but I want to talk about three features in particular I think are absolute home runs. One, quick resume, where you can keep multiple games suspended and then load into any particular one of them in the blink of an eye. Like that. This is a huge boon for console gaming, as most of us have a main game we're working our way through, but also like to maybe hop into something a little more casual sometimes. It's a really, really nice convenience feature, and I honestly think it will be one of those things people will end up forgetting to appreciate because it is so seamless and so additive to their gaming sessions. Number two, backwards compatibility. Phil Spencer says Xbox One games, including the Xbox and Xbox 360 titles that are backwards compatible right now, will be available to play on Series X. So if you've purchased a large digital library of older Xbox games during the Xbox One's life cycle, this is excellent news and helps dampen the anger about having to repurchase old games again and again and again and again. It's also worth noting that Game Pass will keep on trucking so you'll be able to play whatever you've been enjoying there, old or new, on an Xbox Series X. Lastly, let's talk about smart delivery. This is my favorite. If a developer chooses to release a game on Xbox One now and then Xbox Series X later, they can use smart delivery and you get the Series X upgrade for free. Microsoft says all of its Xbox Game Studios titles will be using the system including Halo Infinite, and developer CD Projekt Red announced it will also be utilizing smart delivery for Cyberpunk 2077 when it launches later this year. So if you don't have the cash to buy a Series X this year, you don't have to stress about buying Cyberpunk twice when you finally do save up enough to upgrade your console. Yes, 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 Microsoft come through. Those three features are absolutely key for future consoles. At least I think so. We haven't heard too much from Sony in the way of PS5 features, but it will be backwards compatible with the PS4, and I assume the SSD will at least make it much faster to switch between games, though Microsoft's quick resume goes the extra mile for gamers. Sony would make a huge mistake, though, not to include smart delivery or something like it in their next console. But considering massive titles like The Last of Us 2 and Final Fantasy VII Remake are dropping the same year as a new console and there's backwards compatibility with PS4, I think we can suspect the PlayStation 5 will have something very similar to smart delivery. Will that mean higher prices for games? I hope not. And I don't think so, but ugh, things always tend to shift a little during a console launch year, so I just wouldn't count anything out. If you are already hyped for Xbox Series X, are you even more hyped now? I assume so. If not, did you switch your pledge of console allegiance? Or are you a never Xboxer? I think Microsoft is already making some really compelling moves this console cycle, but we'll all have to check it out when the Xbox Series X launches later this year. Be good humans.